Today on the show, Windows might get the right number, the Big Bang, and old music gets a new lease on life. This is TechSpec. Last week I told you about the new TechSpec Facebook fan page, and the response has been amazingly, well, we have around 70 fans so far, which is great for you 70 people, but how the hell are everyone else supposed to find out about this show if you're not helping, hmm? Well, let's see if this helps you be a fan. We'll be holding a contest soon, and I'm still trying to figure out a great prize. One of the new iPod Touches, something even bigger, I'm still trying to figure it out, but you better be sure that the only people who can win will be people who are on the Facebook fan page. So bam, go to textbank.com and click on the like button. Easy, right? And after that, go ahead and click on some ads, because daddy needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Seriously, click the ads. Anyway, on with the show. Windows Phone 7. There isn't much to report here. Windows Phone 7 will destroy the iPhone and Android platforms once and for all. It's official. Microsoft even held a funeral for them. They had a hearse, pallbearers, and uh, Mardi Gras floats. Yeah, well, let's hope they know how to build a phone better than they know how to throw a funeral, huh? Well, maybe the weird funeral was just the developers having a little fun now that the launch is near. Let's take a look at some of the regular advertising. Surely that's a lot better and it'll give people an idea of what this new phone OS is all about. So, what do you think the iPhone 5 is going to be like? As a side note, if you need someone to make ads for your phones that don't suck, let me know, Microsoft. I'll be glad to do it. Actually, I think I'll ask you guys to sponsor an episode of the show. You obviously have money to throw away. Why not throw it away on us? F***ing funeral. Give me a break. Anyway, NASA scientists are almost ready to send a giant instrument onto space that will be able to collect data about the Big Bang, among other things. The giant donut-shaped magnet surrounds eight detectors which can figure out all sorts of information about the particles that get sucked inside. I don't know why they're trying so hard though. If they were looking for a Big Bang, all they had to do was look in my bedroom. Oh! But seriously, the only other instrument that comes close to this alpha magnetic spectrometer is called Pamela, launched in 2007 by a joint Russian and Italian mission. Pamela is smaller and less sensitive than the AMSO2, which means she doesn't even care if you don't call her after they find the Big Bang. Oh! Again! So why should we care? Well. It's more research. In a recent interview, Steve Nan, a physics professor at MIT, told Technology Review, 100 years ago, people didn't understand electrons, so they started to do experiments, and now we have cell phones, computers, and millions of transistors. So is it worth it to figure out what the universe is made of? Absolutely. Absolutely. Finally, Beethoven's been dead for almost 200 years, yet his music is still amazingly well known. Just listen to this. Actually, I can't play anything for you, and that's the point. While the musical compositions, the notes that he wrote on the paper, are public domain, the recordings of the pieces are not. The people who recorded the orchestra playing them own the copyright to that. So while I can show you the music, I can't play any recordings for you without paying up. But that's all getting set to change. Muse Open is a group that goes out, buys the rights, and records their own versions, and then releases them to the public domain for us to do whatever we want with them. Very, very cool. Their pledge drive is almost over, and while their goal was $11,000, they've already raised over $25,000, so they'll be recording even more music than originally planned. Impressive. They'll be sharing this music for free on various websites indefinitely, and it'll go a long way to help make sure that Beethoven lives on for another 200 years, just like Joan Rivers. She's old. That's it for this episode of TechSpank. Thanks for watching, and seriously, if you haven't already, head to our Facebook fan page and show your love. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the show on YouTube so you know right away when the new episode goes up. And maybe you can be that illustrious first commentar, like Jess5100, who was for the last episode. Just kidding, we love you, Jess. And just for the record, since I'm the one who puts this stuff on the web, I'm first, mother me, James Papadopoulos, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Ah. Ajita. Bleh.